How's everybody doing? I'm outside. I'm outside and uh, I've been out here. I'm watching like I was last night. I hope you're all doing well. If uh, this is kind of glary, I might start it all over. But anyway, um, I would say this day's right here. I'm watching High Watch and I'm going to go over something about one of my old videos. And I'll start it right here. Third, twenty twenty one. I couldn't believe it. Venus covered by the sun. Mercury reveals him to the fire. What's symbolic about this is the fact that this is the only time in Nostradamus' entire history. So I made a video on this. This was uh I was watching this date. Mercury reveals him to the sun. Well, today I saw this. This is my video I made a while ago. This is for March 23rd. What I didn't realize is that this alignment right here, Mercury, if you can see Mercury, in other words, in March 23rd, it was right here. Venus was right here. Venus, Mercury is already passing Venus. Mercury will be revealing him to the sun, Venus to the sun, right here. I didn't realize this, so this could be what that prophecy was about. A line here, an alignment it's a twenty-seven. of some sort here, Uranus, Venus, Mercury, and Earth. Uh, but I would uh, suspect that this wouldn't be affecting uh, the night-facing side of Earth. Although, as you can see here, almost a perfect alignment. Here and we have to see where this goes. Right there. But again, right there. He uh, twenty fourth. See here, almost a perfect alignment. But we're seeing the problems Fifth, ongoing 26. and have been. Right there, 27th. Now we do have Jupiter and Saturn. 29th, 30th, right we are there. Closing in on I Jupiter also had Chattis do this video for me. This goes. I had Chattis make me a video on this, but I didn't realize that. that it, This is about the 30th, you know, to the 5th. Mercury reveals Venus to the sun. That would be right there. So I was, I, did, I as I said, it was coming around this way. When I thought it was that, which it could have meant this side so that was a video I made right here this was made this a while ago but like I said it's kind of interesting about this I'm gonna splice my video together and I got some other stuff to go over and uh, yes right here so we will see I'm gonna splice my video together Yes, I hope you're all doing well. This is the main part of my video. I had somebody ask me a question about this, and uh, I will go over this right now. I realized this years ago, and when somebody, a lot of times I don't explain or go over it. It's like, uh, if you, either you see it or you don't. As I said, here's the date. Um, it's really getting nice. I, it's it's going to start raining pretty soon, but anyway... Perry Stone said it too, and I will let him say it. I believe what you were about to hear is very, very amazing. A friend of mine, Brian Cutshaw, uses a phrase I'm going to use right now called prophetic layers. And that is that the scripture has hidden within it layers of prophetic understanding and mysteries that must be pulled out of the scripture itself when reading it. One of the examples I love to give is Ecclesiastes chapter 1, where it says, The thing which has been is that which shall be. Many of you commented on several months ago when we aired a television special, actually it was a manifest program, dealing with the book of Genesis going from chapter 11 back to chapter 1 and how the prophetic future of everything that's about to happen is actually pointed to 
in the first 11 chapters of the book of Genesis. Well, today, we're going to talk about another prophetic code. How that when you... He's correct. So this is all through the Bible. I agree with him. And when I saw it, and then I heard him say this, and I will show you what I'm talking about. You can listen to this video in itself. He talks about Haman here, had 10 sons, and uh, they were hung by the gallows. And then he talks about, it shows where uh, in 1948, when uh, the Nuremberg trials, there was 10 people hung on the gallows. And I will go to right about here. In Esther chapter 9, in Esther chapter 9 and verse 10, it says, The ten sons of Haman, the son of Hamadatha, the enemy of the Jews, they slew, but on the spoil laid there not their hands. So there it just simply mentions they killed the Jewish people. Actually, it was the king rose up and killed the ten sons of Haman, right? But watch this verse. Then said Esther, If it please the king, let it be granted to the Jews which are in Shushan to do tomorrow also according to this day's decree, and let Haman's ten sons be hung upon the gallows. Now, most people would read that and not catch what I'm about to show you. There's a, a Jewish man at Qumran that pointed this out to me years ago. He said, why does it mention two times the death of his ten sons? Did you notice that? It says they slay them, and then, then right after that it says they took them and hung them on the gallows. So what does that mean? Does it mean that they killed them and hung them by the neck in public, or does it mean that they killed them by hanging them. In other words, why is it mentioned twice? It doesn't make sense. He said, anytime you see something like this in the Bible that looks like it's a contradiction, it's not a contradiction, it's a code or it's a clue. Now, y'all ready for this? This is where it gets real interesting. The 10 sons of Haman are listed in Esther chapter 9, 7 through 9. And you just look at the Bible because if, look at some of these names, guys, right here. Oh, he's going to go over this. This isn't really what I'm going, but it's very interesting. You can watch this video for yourself. Um, like I said, that's what he he went into. Now, I'll show you something right here, which, same thing. And I've known this for quite a while. And if you understand what it's talking about, the Lord gives you wisdom. And it's not me. I pray for wisdom every day, but, uh, Isaiah 28, woe to the crown of pride, to the drunkards of Ephraim, whose glorious beauty is a fading flower, which are on the head of the fat valleys of them that are overcome with wine. Behold, the Lord hath a mighty and strong one, which as a tempest of hail and a destroying storm as a flood of mighty waters overflowing shall cast down to the earth with the hand the crown of pride the drunkards of ephraim shall be trodden under feet and the glorious beauty which is on the head of the fat there's two groups here and i'll point it out in a minute there's ephraim drunkards alley shall be a fading flower and as the hasty fruit before the summer, which when he that looketh upon it seeth, while it is yet in his hand, he eateth it up. In that day shall the Lord of hosts be for a crown of glory, and for a diadem of beauty unto the residue of his people. There's the Jews. And for a spirit of judgment to him that sitteth in judgment, and for strength to them that turn the battle to the gate. But they also have erred through wine, and through strong drink are out of the way. The priest and the prophet have erred through strong drink. That's talking about the priest and the prophet. That's, that's religious leaders of this time. They are swallowed up of wine. They are out of the way through strong drink. They err in vision. Sorry, it's got a boat going by. They err in vision. I don't really... Uh... I tried to do this later so they wouldn't be going by, but anyway, they err in vision. They stumble in judgment. For all tables are full of vomit and filthiness, so that there is no place clean. Whom shall he teach knowledge? 
and whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Now it says this twice. He's talking about us and another tongue. That's us, another tongue. We aren't Jewish. Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breasts. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. For with stammering lips in another tongue will he speak to this people. Another tongue, that's us. To whom he said, this is the rest wherewith ye may cause the weary Our to rest, rest. Us rest. And this is the refreshing. Yet they would not hear. But the word of the Lord was unto them, precept upon precept, precept upon precept, this is line the Jews. upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little, that they might go and fall backward. They fall and backwards. Broken and snared and taken. Wherefore, hear the word of the Lord, ye scornful men, that rule this people which is in Jerusalem. There you go. He said it right there. Beautiful. So, he said it twice. This is all through the Bible. And if you understand that, you would think, well, it's just, you know, it's both. It's, it's both. Um, somebody asked me about uh, the wedding supper. And, uh, let's see, go right here. This is Luke 14. There's two groups. This proves it too. He sent forth his servants and called them to the bidden to the wedding, and they would not, or for the, all things were ready. This is us. We're calling people to the wedding supper. Right here. If you go down here, it says, He sent forth his servants to time for supper to tell them they were bidden, bidden, saved, come to the, the things are ready. And they went right here and began to make excuses that's what happened today for they said unto them i bought a piece of ground this is what people are saying they're going to take a wife and get married this is what they're saying just as what we are doing this is the first group that's us we're going to the wedding then right here says right here says come again Right here, 23, go out the highways and compel them to come in, come in twice, and the house may be filled. And he said unto you, none of them that were bidden shall taste my supper. This is Luke 14 also. This is the second time. So there's two departures. Somebody was asking me about this. This is the second one. He says right here, he say unto you, none of them will taste that were bidden shall taste my supper. This is Luke 14. Well, if you go back to Luke 12, right here, 1236, you are like, like unto men that wait for the Lord when he will return from the wedding, and he cometh and knocketh, and that may open unto them immediately. These people didn't go to the wedding supper, they missed. They're waiting for the Lord to return from the wedding supper. And then he's talking about us. I did a video on this a long time ago, but I just wanted to explain this and go over it. Uh, keep playing, Luke 20, 21, 36. This one right here, like I said, I was waiting. We're waiting. I'm out here waiting. I thought I'd make another video. Somebody asked me questions about this, the two different groups. Well, this is exactly what the Bible says. There's people that are waiting for the Lord to return from the wedding. Of course, Return from the wedding, and when he cometh and knocketh, they may open to him immediately. Well, it's quite obvious if they're waiting him to return from the wedding, they're the group right here that I just showed you in Luke 14, that Jesus says, none of them will taste my supper. Jesus also, if he comes at an hour that you aren't looking for him, they will cut you asunder, put your portion with the hypocrites right here. Luke 14 says, For I say unto you, none of them, those men which were bidden, shall taste my supper. That's the same thing as Luke 12, 36 right here. So this is the second group. 
Jesus tells you in Luke 20, 12, this is your commands. Jesus commands you. You watch for him. And that's, that's as we're doing. Love you all. I want to put this video together today um, as we're watching. And uh, I want to answer questions. Somebody asked me questions. I have made videos on this. It's uh, Luke 14. I made that in my video section of my videos. Luke 14. But, like I said, I explained it more detail here. Um, just what I was saying. Made this video a long time ago. Luke 14. And as the Lord has showed me, there's people that aren't going to be going to the wedding supper. Um, 14. Luke 14 right there. Made it a year ago. Love you all. I hope you're doing well as we wait. I'm going to end my video with this this right here, this song. It's one of my favorites. And uh, like I say, I, uh, I'm out here, got my torches going finally. So 